Hey, good top of the morning to you whosoevers. Today's the fifth day of February 2021. God bless you guys. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. So I just posted a picture of a board. A board at Walmart. And, you know... Remember a couple years ago, everybody was, you know, it's kind of like spotting how the illuminated or the Illuminati or those who, you know, the rich and powerful follow Satan, in a sense. You know? So a picture of a board, just with the all-seeing eye. Um, again, uh, the closer we get into the end times... Uh, the more we're going to see open Satanism, not only in the churches, but also uh, in our homes, in our, in our television sets, in our music we listen to. You know, Satanism is very much alive. You know, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life, uh, the lust of the eyes. You know, there's nothing more glittery than diamonds and gold and, straight, and green. The Lord says, I, I lead you behind, beside green pastures. Uh, again, again, the Bible likens the end times to birth pains. Birth pains in the sense where um, most they, the world has, again, has a timeline uh, that comes from God uh, to the end of the church. You know, God knows exactly when to the... The end of the church age is going to happen. Uh, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ sits on the mercy seat in heaven. Right now as we speak, the Bible says he's at the right hand of God the Father on the mercy seat of David, uh, calling people to repentance, calling people to salvation, calling people to the wedding supper of the Lamb. Uh, the Lord is calling all nations, all people, all races, all gang members, whether you be a blood or a crib. Or a Norteño, or a Sureño, or a Paisa, or a, a, a jock, or a, a heavy metalist guy, or a, a compa, or, you know, whatever the Lord is calling you, we're all human, and we're all sinners. And because we're sinners, Jesus Christ died on the cross and shed his blood. Remember, when Jesus died on the cross, the, 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 there was a, there was, the Bible says there was like this, uh, the, the sun was darkened, and then there was like a, in eclipse, full eclipse for three hours. And remember, people marvel says this was this was the Son of God. You know, um, you know we, that He has power over death. Over, uh, you know, Jesus is the resurrection and the life. You know, and because Jesus is the resurrection, resurrection and the life, He can resurrect our spiritually dead bodies when we're born again and give us and be made alive. In Christ as a small little baby. And then he gives you his words that you may be sanctified and grow. Uh, remember guys, when you're a born again Christian, you trip and fall just like a regular baby trips and falls all the time. You know, but you get convicted and the Lord is speaking to you. Hey, what's up, Christina? Um, the Lord is speaking to you and you want to be a better person, right? Um, if God has called you, called you to be a watchman, and all you do for many, many years is read the Bible and you start noticing the signs of the times um, that God gave us. And he wants us to, to, you know, to be like a Noah who built an ark and, you know, testified, testified to the people. Hey, the flood, the flood is coming. The flood is coming. And, and, and all the people were laughing at him like, man. It's never rained before, you know. Remember, the Bible says that there was this dew all over the earth, so it had never rained. And then the Bible says that the heavens, uh, the very firmament of the heavens, were broken, and then rain came down. And and, and Noah built an ark, um, and he told his own family members, "Hey, come, come, join me. You know, come into the ark or the boat." And be saved. And, and nobody would come. And then remember the Bible says that the Lord closed the door to the ark. And then the rain came. 
know, guys, the Lord is going to close the door to the church age. You know, at some point, the Bible says he's going to meet us halfway in the clouds of the air. He's going to meet us halfway. And all of, all of us in the twinkle of an eye shall be transformed from incorruption to, to from incorrupt, from corruption to incorruption. From temporal to eternal. You know, God is going to give us a new body. We're going to join the air, Lord in the air. And we'll be with the Lord forevermore. And we'll go to the wedding supper of the Lamb. But all the people here left on earth will go through the Bible. is going to say, what happened to all those millions and millions of people? You know, some were Catholics, some were Christians, some were Jehovah Witnesses, some were Mormons. But the difference was, is they were born again. They were born again. You know, they might have been taken captive by, by the mystery Babylon and the religious religion behind uh, the, the sons of the harlot or the daughters of the harlot, uh, the, the mother of harlots. But they, they, they came to a belief that simple faith in Jesus Christ by God's grace and his mercy that you can be saved, you can be transformed, you can come out of in Adam to in Christ. God has given you the, 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 uh, the choice whether you be with the Lord and be raptured and, and escape the horrors and the tribulation that is to come or that you follow God into the wedding supper of the Lamb where there's great joy and, 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 and you know, God is, God marries the church as, as a bride. You know, we're all giving white robes, the righteousness of Christ, not our own righteousness. You know, that's why the Bible says when the Lord stands up in the, in the book of Revelation that everybody who had a crown cast their crowns at the feet of the Lord. We're not worthy. None of us are worthy, guys. We're all sinners. But you want to be left behind? Let me see what's coming. Famine and pestilence and death. Wars are coming. Global government is coming. Global one world religious is coming. And the Bible says that the fish, one third of the fish of the sea died. Food prices go up one third. All the, all the beasts of the field, you know, the green grass, one third of the green grass burns on the earth. The Bible says that uh, a global warming would happen and great heat scorched those upon the earth and they gnawed at God. And then the Bible says that the great generals and kings and mighty lieutenants and captains of warfare hid in the mountains saying, hide us from the wrath of the Lamb. So the Bible says at some point that the world leaders, the rich people, the, the Illuminati, the ones that have all the money and control all the land are going to be hiding in caves. By then they're going to know that it's the wrath of the land because the two witnesses are going to come. The Bible says it's called two witnesses. Some people believe it's Elijah and Moses or these old prophets of old. They're going to come. They're going to come and testify, and they're going to tell the world to repent. To repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Turn away from the whore of Babylon. These two witnesses are going to preach the living word. They're going to have help. The Bible says that the 144,000 Jewish evangelists were called to preach the everlasting gospel. Also, the Bible says they're going to have angels in the sky proclaiming the word of God, telling everybody on the earth, beware, beware, do not take the mark of the beast or the name of number of his name. And the Bible says that the angel flew across the sky, probably in a circular motion, by the way, to all your flat earthers. Uh, um, and it's going to tell the people of the earth to don't take the mark of the beast because the plagues and the famines and the pestilence and the boils follow them. And the Bible says, once you take the mark of the beast, or the number of his name, 666. I think his name, I think the number of his name is Obama. It's my opinion. We'll find out in the future. But here we go again. The Bible says, do not believe. Everybody's telling you, and the Bible says in the book of Revelation, every great prophet of God, every angel of God, every evangelist of God is telling you not to take the mark of the beast or to worship his name. Or to, or to follow the false prophet, or to follow the false Christ. 
or the another Christ or the beast of revelation. But no, you won't listen. No, you know better than God. You know better than the two prophets of old. You know better than the 144,000 Jewish evangelists. You know better than, than, than the angels in the sky who, who've been with God since the beginning of the creation. But no, you don't want to listen. Oh, and then, then you mock and you say, oh, it's not, not going to happen. The Bible says, and it came to pass. How many times in the, in, in the Bible, guys, you read the Bible and it says, and it came to pass. And it came to pass. Shortly thereafter, it came to pass. While, in, while he was still speaking, and it came to pass. Remember, guys, these are this is God's word uh, happening behind the scenes, and and I like those I like those because while he yet spoke, the Bible says, and it came to pass, like right in the middle of his like saying, "Ah, it's not gonna happen." Boom! It came upon him. Listen, guys, I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking you to go to a church. I'm asking you to be the church. I'm asking you to read your Bible. I'm asking you to, to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, to believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. To, to know that, you know, don't put your, all your eggs in one basket because as the end times gain speed, bro, you, you better not be illiterate. So, uh, you know, some people used to say, um, you don't want to get to heaven, even though you get saved, and end up like a country bumpkin, you know, not knowing. But of course, us who read the Bible know, you know, the procession of everything is going to take place. You know, nothing's going to hit us. You know, we're going to see the 24 elders. We're going to see those uh, tribulation saints who will be martyred in the tribulation, uh, yelling out to God, saying, how long, O oh Lord? How long, O oh Lord, before you take vengeance on us? Because the Antichrist and the Beast of Revelation started chopping people's heads off. So the Bible says all these things, guys, because the Bible's tomorrow's newspaper. You know, sometimes you gotta, you know, look to the past to see the future. You know, God, God's word was moved by the Holy Spirit while people full of the Holy Spirit prophesied and testified of God's truths. What are you going to do when the end times come to you? What are you going to do when the end times come to you? Are you going to be a fool? Or are you going to be a wise? Are you going to be a, a virgin with their lamp full rather than at the last minute the Lord return and they have no fire in the lamp, no light in their life? Because unless you have the light of life, you're never going to be saved. You're never going to be from in Adam to in Christ. Trust your religion, you're going to perish. Trust your traditions of man, you're going to perish. Trust anything other than God's word and God's grace and God's mercy. You know, God is able to save those from the utmost farthest. No one's too far from, from the Lord's hand. So I hope you're, you're blessed today, guys. I love you guys. God bless you. You know, the end times gain speed. Um, just look at our look at our world, guys. It's going to go from worse to worse like birth pains. The Bible says that the rich and the poor alike will will be under the the mighty uh, the mighty evil evil hand or God's judgment on the, on humankind because they refuse to be saved. They refuse to be born again. They trusted in their works. They trusted in their church. They trusted in their domination. They trusted in everything other than what they really needed to do. It's the final work. It is finished that Jesus did on the cross to all those who believe and be born again. Your money can't save you. Your good works, your looks, nothing can save you. What can save you is the blood of the Lamb. Trust the Lord. He comments. And his reward is with him. And all those who worship the beast in his image were, were thrown into the lake of fire. Mm. You want to go into the lake of fire? I got a shirt right here that says Lake of Fire Rescue Team. 
Lake of Fire Rescue Team. Simon Limon. You can do it. I love you guys. God bless you. Hey, what's up, Nora? How's it going? She's from uh, Fresno, Modesto. She's a believer in the Lord. She's Syrian. I believe. God bless you guys. God bless you guys. Just remember, you know, as we head into the end times, you know, our job as Christians is to preach the gospel, get people saved, warn them, be a watchman, warn them, burr, 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 you know, blow, blow the trumpet. You know, you know, the church ain't blowing trumpet. They want your, a lot of the church wants your money. A lot of, a lot of people say, hey, give, you sow your seed of a million dollars and we'll heal you. We'll heal you. We'll have healing ministries. And then, and then you're poor and you're still sick. When I got saved and born again, I remember an old timer spent all his money chasing to the revivals, sowing his seed, wanting to be healed. Not only did he die, but he died broke. I'm not here to take your money, but I'm here to be a soul winner. And hopefully you, you believe the gospel. And as the end times gain speed, you know, that you, you realize that, you know, keep a light touch on the things of this world because we're at sooner or later in a twinkle of an eye, in, 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 in a split second, we'll be taken from this earth. And everything we have and everything we know and, you know, we'll be, we'll, we'll be like, we ain't going to be worried about the people down here because we did our job. You know, we testified when we needed to testify and we preached the gospel when the gospel needed to be heard. So may the Lord bless you, be girded, be strengthened. Love you guys. In the name of Jesus Christ, the name above all names. God bless you.